What is a Panda YouTube? You like this YouTube channel, right? We're pretty informative and pretty funny. But what about this new YouTube channel from Sakurai, the creator of Smash Ultimate? He's doing stuff about gaming in general, and uh, we're gonna be reacting because the videos have been quite charming and quite nice, so we're going to check them out. But of course, go subscribe to his channel. We would appreciate it. And of course, we would appreciate it more if you subscribe to this channel. Turn on notifications, ring that bell. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. This is the important one. Smash Brothers. Who likes Smash Bros, huh? Raise your hand. Who likes Smash Bros here? Don't f***ing lie to me. I know that you do. That's why you're that's why you're watching right now. I'm so sick. Everybody's like, "Oh, I'm too good for that." No, you you found me through Smash. I love it. That's the one thing I really like about Smash is that they really do pay attention to details for every character and where they come from. The thinking behind some of the smaller details that go into the games. Okay. Is this just like if you hit a guy, stop the game? Stop effects, yeah, super important. There are a lot in, in Smash, too. Yeah, hit stop or hit lag is what we call it. Stop for big movements. A moment. I'm thinking about movements because they usually have like one of those big pauses whenever you get a big hit in. Yes, okay, okay, okay. I love it when games stop when you hit some. I do. I love that. It feels so good. Yeah, that happens a ton. And it's actually really, really why Ultimate's hit sound seems so beefy. Oh, this is so cool. Isn't that, wasn't that in a, was it Slap City? Didn't Slap City have like a 10 second long hit stop thing? I think that, that game had one of those. I know uh, Lethal League has that for one attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Fish Bungeon or something. It was crazy long. Lethal League has that a lot. MVS needs more hit stop. I don't know. Attacks feel impactful in MVS. I don't think that's the issue. Uh, I think, I think the lack of hit stop makes characters harder to catch. Because like if Bugs is going for an up air and hitting the guy, you can just dodge right after, you know? You might be right. It might make it easier to catch people, you know? But I also think it would kind of f*** up the flow. You know what I mean? I think MVS just needs more, like, dodge whiff. NASB needs it bad. Yeah, Nickelodeon's different. <laughs> Nickelodeon has no stop on anything. That is just... You, by the time you hit one move, you're in the third one, you know? It's nuts. Oh, geez, that would be crazy. <laughs> That'd be so different. That's why Kazi feels weird sometimes. Uh, oh my gosh, that looks funny. He went flying! It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's just Falcon. I mean, I guess it's a bird, right? <laughs> Bro, look at without hit stop. Hold on, let me get out of the way. Where did Falcon go? Yup! <laughs> it's like he grabbed him. That game looked fast, though. The finish zoom is so good. It's so good. It's perfect. That's my favorite thing about Ultimate. I love it. It makes it, it gives it like that epic effect. This is so cool how he's actually explaining this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that did exist, I guess, in Brawl. And like other video games, of course, but. Oh, what? Zelda has this too, actually. You didn't make that up. <laughs> yeah, when you kill a boss, the whole game stops. Oh, wait, maybe he did. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> oh. Well. Itatakimasu. Huh. I didn't realize it was an extension of that. That makes sense. Yeah, it's the same thing in Mario, too. That's awesome. Wait, doesn't Mario do that? Mario does that. Wait a minute. You hack? When Mario dies, he smiles and looks at the screen. Right? Mm hmm. That is true. I agree with that. That's actually so smart to know that. Because it's true, because things happen really, really fast. You'll die and not even know why you died. Sure. 
と言ってしまうのですがせっかくの見せ所プレイヤーの感想が「あれ今の当たったの?」みたいな感じでは損だったいや、that's a good point はあ、yeah, I think it's not super important The fact that that doesn't exist in some games is kind of crazy. This is so awesome. Gross game. Great game, by the way. I don't believe you. Oh, okay.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because you notice it stops and you go, oh no, something happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, that's awesome actually. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. You probably just blow up and you don't realize what happened. Oh, okay, okay. So that's where they got the idea. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's kind of cool that hit lag is a, is a thing in multiple genres of games and not just like fighting games. Bro, if I made an arcade game like that, I would not show people how they died. I'd be like, oh man, you died! How? I don't know. How about another quarter? It's a way to make the player feel more in the game. The, these are. The, the, look at the threat levels here. Stop and shake and slow. You died! <laughs> It's like grabbing you through the screen. <laughs> you fucking moron! Okay. This is like really well thought out. Yeah. Okay, what? This is so cool. You can, you, as, as a viewer, you can literally even see just with the impact that the freeze, the shake, and then the blow up in slow motion really makes the whole game feel. Ooh, I kind of like the shake. I like the shake. Oh, I like the slow motion too. Okay, you just blow up. Mmm. The stop just feels so sudden, so when you add in the shake, it makes it extra impactful. The shake is a lot in these cases, but that's because they're, you know, edited in an interesting way. But yeah, I feel like that, the, that one kind of happens in Mega Man a lot. Oh, that's my sh. Yeah, that's cinematic. That sh looked like Top Gun. I like, bro, the slow motion always. I need every game to look like this. It's kind of like modern day. You see that effect and you feel like your controller should vibrate. Yeah, I think that's really important. I never really thought of it that way. I thought it was just like a fighting game thing to help. Oh, wait, that editing is so cute. Wait, that's it? That's all? That's all you had? <laughs> He said they'd be short. I don't remember him saying that. That's it? Oh, what? That's so cool. I actually really love that uh, that we get videos now of Sakurai just telling us like how he approached these games in a way where he was able to bring things from other games that he was able to witness that lacked something and then made it into something bigger when he felt like it would have a different effect on the players playing his own games. That's super cool. I can't wait to see more of what he posts about game design in general because I just feel like it's something we don't really get to see often talked about from developers. And imagine being able to hear that from Sakurai himself. I mean, that's really, really cool. I really enjoyed that. That's really cool that he kind of like laid it out like that and made it, made it make sense across different genres. What did you think about it? Did you think it was interesting? Let us know down in the comments and why down there. Subscribe. We would appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.